Hey Fluffies, welcome back to Pink Stylist Plays, and today we're playing part 2 of chapter 5 of Sally Face. I'm not going to talk about it too much in this introduction because while we last left off in the first part of this chapter, I really did end it on a cliffhanger. I apologise about that, I just don't want the video to be about 2 hours long, so it's better for me just to cut it up. So, we're going to jump straight back into chapter 5 and see where it takes us, hopefully somewhere less depressing. <laughs> Okie dokie, so here we are. So I'm pretty sure this is taking place inside Sal's memories somehow. So let's go. It's happening again. The flashes. What am I? A voice in the light. You are unbound. You are broken. You must balance yourself. Fight the chaos within. Don't let your nightmares infect your reality, Sal. Find your centre. Don't listen to them, Sal. You must give in to your dreams. Give in to the chaos to reach your full potential. It's too dangerous. He's not ready. Follow your heart, child. So is this like angel and devil? Like that kind of thing. No, listen to your mind. Who are you? Where am I? Have I been here before? Well, let's start with the obvious. Who are you? We are everything and nothing. <laughs> Why the bloody ask? Where am I? You are everywhere. And nowhere. Else. Have I been here before? You have always been here. I'm going to make a wild guess. And yet you've never been here. Oh, she didn't say it. Ha! Fine. Never mind. I can move around. So is this the afterlife or what? Okay. House in the void. Void house. Ooh, void stairs. White room. Oh. The dawn of mankind has triumphed over the oldest conflict. They are something from nothing. You must not allow them to be extinguished. I want to go back to the not so bright room. It is really bright and it's hurting my eyes. Yay. Void stairs. Oh. Hello. Uh, hello. I'm glad you remembered where I was. Do I know you? We've spoken many times, so... Alright, <laughs> you're gonna be as cryptic as the voices. Hold on, Jim? I was once... well... wait, who the hell is Jim? Jim? God, what can I remember? I was once... well, part of me was... I have made many sacrifices to get here and I've lost so much along the way. Jim Johnson. The name's ringing a bell, unless you lived in the apartments, the Addison apartments. I guess that's a yes on the cryptic thing, then. I'm so sorry about your family, Evelyn, Larry, Lisa. Yes, I used to be as well. There was a time when I thought I could save them by changing the future. It was all I wanted. Jim Johnson, that's gonna bug me. Lisa and Larry were the light of my life. Oh, Larry's dad, gotcha. Sorry, <laughs> I had never known such a deep love. I do not hold you responsible for their deaths. I understand what had to be done. You lost a lot that day too. He's taking it all quite well, isn't he? But it is the nature of life. All things living must come to an end. I remember what it was like to live, to feel. I do not miss the constant cloud of emotions. Oh, he's a bundle of fun, isn't he? It was all for nothing, though. The shadows still live, and the devourers are going to call for the fall for the plague. Their reach has grown too far. I stopped nothing. I died for nothing. I killed for nothing. Yeah, kinda. You can still stop them if you wish to. In fact, I think you are the key to their destruction. If that means anything to you now. Is this the prophecy nonsense again? I don't think I'm much of a chosen hero. I couldn't save anyone. There are no chosen heroes. Only those who choose to do heroic acts. Win or lose. Light or dark. Good or evil. These things don't hold much significance to me anymore. But I would still like to help you if you so choose. How can I do anything like this? Upon dying, your soul was shattered. This occurrence has awakened a unique ability within you. You will be able to drift into parallel worlds, though it will take some practice. How do I get back to my world? It'll be difficult, but I have prepared you for your arrival. I built a device to help you. Of course he did. Your friend Ashley has gathered the device above your grave in your world. This is good. Okay, so he's been, he, is that the one that's been trying to like disobey the cult and has been helping her? But how would he send her the pyramids from the real world? I'm confused. However, there are more components and they must be aligned across the three realities that they have been hidden in. The three pyramids of Asintma are each sealed with three puzzles. You must gather them all. 
If you hid these pyramids of ass in ma, <laughs> or whatever, can't you just grab them for me? That is not possible. I no longer intervene in such matters. I have also erased the solutions from my memory in case anyone tried to steal them. Convenient. However, I can guide you to their locations. Okay, well, that will save some time at least. Where do I start? There used to be a door here. Just a second. Uh, there it is. <laughs> that wasn't so mysterious. You'll find your way through that door. Keep your wits about you. Why do I get the feeling that whoever wrote this was on something really strong? <laughs> oh. Okay, well, let's go with door number two then. Ooh. Triangle void. Oh. That's really bright. Oh. Oh. I'm afraid moving still isn't an option for us. The house has been on the market since, well, four years now. It's an important step that I hope you'll be able to take soon. In the meantime, I believe the cat will be of great comfort to Sal. So, Gizmo. He's shown a lot of improvement over the past month after he was assigned the kitten. Are you sure he's ready to come home? He is more than ready, Henry. Are you sure you're ready? Yeah, it'll be good to have my son back. Oh! Well, this isn't what I was expecting. You have awakened a new soul connection. You may find it a bit strange at first. This is way too happy. Oh, I don't like it. This is too happy looking. Actually, it feels pretty natural. Like I've been here the whole time. Like waking from a dream. In the beginning, I found the odd sense of familiarity to be unsettling. But I am not like you. You'll find the first pyramid somewhere in this house. On it. Oh, it's so happy and bouncy. Looks like a letter from Ashley. Sal, I'm so sorry I didn't believe you before. I really wanted to. I tried so hard to be there for everyone, and now it's all falling apart. I hope it's not too late to fix things. I hope that I can somehow make up for my mistakes. I need you to know that I... And it just ends there. Something must have interrupted her. Front door. I can't leave. I have to find that pyramid. This is too happy and colourful. Mm. And that's me saying this. Oh! Sealed chat. Okay. Hey, look! Look, 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 look! That's the weird cubey thing that was in, um... Okay. That was in the bathroom, which I don't get, in the previous bit. So each one of them moves once. So that one moves that one. So couldn't I just... Okay, so then... And just do that. Okay. What did that do? Well, they're connected to the door, so... Did it just lock as I went in? Oh, no, look, look, look! Did you follow the thingy? I don't know the combination. Alright, so let's try that then. Sally's room. Oh, look at the picture! Oh, they're so happy and colourful! <laughs> it's weird. Oh. oh, basement. It's jammed shut. Oh, that doesn't look good. Oh, let's see if the weird gibby thing's on there. Oh, it's not. 7842. 7842. Sounds good to me. 7842. Squeak, squeak. 7842. I did it! Hmm. 7842. That is right! Why isn't it right? Or is it only three numbers? So, alright. Have a look. Oh, no, there's, there's seven no more of that. <laughs> hey, look at the kid with a little top hat. Cute. Is there anything else in here then? No, no. What am I missing then? House. Definitely nothing else in there, is there? No. I 
guess I'll try it again. Seven, eight, four, two. Let's try backwards. Nope. Fine. But I'm, well, you've got to use that number for something, so pass. Oh shit, there you go. 5023. Right, I'm going to write these down because otherwise I'm going to forget them. So we've got 5023. Good, now turn that off because that's annoying. Oh god, you can't turn it off. And um, then go away. And 7842. Mmm, go away, loud. Now what? So, right, let's try 5023 then. Well, it can't be eight digits long. That'd be stupid. So let's not... Unless it's one, four... Hang on. One, four, five. Oh, hang on. Look. Plus, 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 three numbers. So, 5023, add... Okay, well, sod that. I'm not doing that in my head. Huh? <laughs> so, let's just say to save time, I'm going to work it out on a calculator. 5023, add 7842, add 145 is... 13,000... I doubt that's going to be the code. 13010. Oh, it is! Ha! <laughs> Beautiful. Okay. There's a kid! There's a kid! A uh, pyramid! Oh. Bloody hell. Sal? What was that? What was that? Can I look at these? Loving husband. What was Sal's? What was Sal's grave? Oh, it's Spooky Skeleton! Oh god, is that- oh god. Sal's forming in layers. Sal, is that you? It's me. Oh. You sound faint. Why is your ghost like this? How is this possible? There are so many things I want to tell you. The pyramids. Oh, one of them is glowing now. That is closer to what Todd had in his notes. Let me take a look. Oh! Oh, crap nuggets. The Free Pyramid of Asminta. To be placed around a corpse. These symbols are some kind of code, but what are they? Well, this is north, so... Well, I can't change them, so... And I can't do anything to that. But they don't do anything. But they do... Okay, let me try it. Alright, so that one... That one... Wait. Oh, okay, hold on. So, that one... Then that one, then that one. You, you, you. Play. Oh shit! Oh god! That looked painful. <laughs> you did it, Ash. Oh, back here again. Well, on to the next one. <laughs> okay. The black room. Technology is the perversion of nature, the folly of humankind. Their lust for betterment will be their undoing. <laughs> Oh, what a bundle of fun. Jesus, okay. Let's go back upstairs, shall we? Uh, we want room three now, don't we? So there must be... Oh, there's four. there are four in here. Okay, four. Ooh, in we go. I think it's the art style of this game, isn't it? Oh. That's so loud. Yeah, the art style of this game is really alluring. It's nice. Dad, when will Mum get out of the hospital? Oh. Do you think she'll recognise me with my new face? God damn it, Sal, can we not do this today? I just miss her. She's dead. She's fucking dead. Mum isn't coming home. Oh my god! What about the man with the dog face? We've been over this. Nobody believes me, but I did see the dog man. That's enough, Sal. Hmm. I chose the pink one because that's Mum's favourite colour. I hope she'll recognise me with it on. Oh, bloody hell. 
Oh, I like this one. I've been looking for this spot. I spent so much time out in these woods searching for some evidence that this was real, that I wasn't losing my mind. The council went to great lengths covering it up. They had hidden it with a concealing spell, as they called it. Of course, what they consider magic is merely science and they don't understand. That makes sense, though I have to be honest, it's a pretty dreary way to explain magic. Anyway, I'm guessing you have some hidden things of your own around here, yeah? The second pyramid is here. Who are we talking to? Oh, look! Oh, it's all 3D! Oh! Why the bloody hell am I going to find a... Okay, well, let's have a walk, shall we? What's this? Oh! What, what, what does it do? I don't get it. Am I meant to find something to put on it? How far back can I go? I just want to see. Bye, Sal! Bye! Ah, oh, you can't go far. Okay. So I need to find like another box or something? Another cube to put there? Well, at least we have boundaries, other than we could, have, well, we could walk for miles, wouldn't we? Right. Okay, so I need to remember this then. So, okay. Top three? But that, that was not... Okay. That was three things though, wasn't it? So, yeah, do it. Oh. Pass. Okay, let's go to the other one then. Oh no, wait! The other side, maybe. Maybe the, the sun is light and the... Um... Okay, so... Okay, fine. I am just going to take a picture of that. Ha ha ha. Because... Is that cheating to take a picture of it on my phone? I don't think it is. It kind of is. So, according to this... just haven't got to go back and forth then, have I? So, dark... Wait. Dark, dark, light. Dark, dark, light, light, light. Whoa! Yes! Okay. Is that cheating? I don't know. <laughs> it saves time going back and forth, doesn't it? Oh, wait. So, I can't... Can I... Can I not do anything to that yet? Have I got to solve the other one? Fine. So there's going to be another little placky thing somewhere here then. Oh, it's really nice to look at, isn't it? All these different art styles. Great. Oh. Oh, it was back to front. So we want... Okay, sun, sun, sun. Moon, 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 moon. Was that it? Ah, damn it. Why didn't I take a picture of that as well? Try that and that. I thought that was the... No, it wasn't. I thought it was two, two and one. Guess not. Who's a silly goose? I'm a silly goose. Oh, no, it was just three. Okay, fine. Close enough. Hmm. Close, but no sausage. <laughs> Uh, okay, boop, 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 boop. So then we go, doop, doop, doop. Okay. Oh, they like the, the turny puzzle, don't they? Which is a good thing, because I like it too. Huh. So, that turns that one one. So does that one. So I have to start with this one then, don't I? And that turns all of them. But then I can't turn that, so that has to be a call. Okay, free. Got it. And then we go, boop. Ah, sugar lumps. Okay. God, that's loud. Yay. Now she's going to get like... Oh, it's going to get skin. Another one lit up. Keep going, Ash. I'm getting stronger. You don't look so great, Sal. I'm going to figure this out. Let's get you back to normal. Okay, so... Okay, so now we want to go... Do, do... Do, do... Do... You, 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 you. Oh! 
Ooh. Good job Sal's mask is there, so we can put it back on again, I suppose. <laughs> Otherwise you won't be sunny face. Ugh. Actually, come to think of it, it'll have the mask, but it'll still be naked. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, what's the art style going to be for this one? Ugh, loud. Are you ready for your first day of school, Sally? I don't know. It'll be fun! You'll get to meet a bunch of kids your age and make lots of new friends. But what if they don't like me? That's impossible. You're the coolest guy I ever met. Me? Of course! I don't want to leave you, Mummy. You don't have anything to be afraid of, my love. The teachers will take good care of you, and I'll be right here when you get back. I love you. I love you the most, Sally. Don't you forget it. Gonna be sad. <gasps> Tim Burn. Oh, I like this. Okay. Ooh, wait. This could be Tim Burn, or it could be um, inspired by Don't Starve, which is a great game. Is this a cave by Wendigo Lake? I don't remember it being so big. Another illusion created by your favourite cult. Whoa. Was it that a joke from Mr. Serious? No, it is me, Jim Johnson. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go find the last pyramid. Godspeed. Ooh, spooky cave. Okay, people. Oh, hello. Tala Gray. Whoa, back off, dude. I'm tougher than I look. I'm not afraid to put you down. Hey, I'm not here to cause any trouble. I'm just looking for something I lost. Aren't we all? Well, you better not try anything. I'm watching you. I promise I won't. My name is Sal Fisher. Tala Gray. So what are you doing in these caves, Sal Fisher, besides sneaking up on people? I was just about to ask you the same question. I don't think I've ever seen you around Notfell before. My relatives are from here. I don't visit too often, but my grandfather has recently gone missing. Unfortunately, that tends to happen a lot around here. I hope you find him. Thanks. My grandfather was fascinated by these caves. He used to tell me that the, our ancestors made up all these paintings. He said they depicted a warning of a hungry beast that hunts in this land. Have you seen this small metal pyramid around? You just changed the subject. A small pyramid, huh? I'm guessing that's the thing you lost? Yeah. I haven't seen anything like that around here, sorry. What about some turny hexagons? <laughs> You're just out here with a mask on looking for a bunch of shapes, huh? It's a prosthetic. Well, I'm sorry I couldn't be more help with your geometry. Oh. Thanks, useless. <laughs> oh. Okay, so... Okay. Key dokey. There is a oh cubes. Oh, I'm confused. I did a thing. Oh my god, this again! All right, so what does this one move? This one moves that one. This one moves the end one. This one moves that one. So I need to get you. Okay. Right. Fine. Okay. So then let's move that. Which means if I put you there. So that has to be one behind it. Fine. Then this one moves them two. I'm going to be here a while. Ha! <laughs> Let's go back as well, that's fine then. I don't understand what's happening, but the third one is activated now. Will this bring you back? My ghost will be able to interact, but my body cannot be revived. Are you sure? The prophecies are vague, but they suggest that you'll take physical form. I'm not sure of anything. Alright, let me take care of this last pyramid. Oh, here we go. Right, so. We want to go... You. 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 You and you. You, you, okay, okay. 
Sal? Oh god, getting electrocuted again. Damn it, this was supposed to resurrect you. Are you okay? It hurts. Oh, there's another part of Todd's notes, but I haven't been able to make much sense of them. I'm so sorry, Sal. I failed you again. You deserve better than this. You deserve better than me. Wait, I think I know what it means. I know what I have to do. Oh! No! Ash, don't. Oh, I don't want to see this, thanks. I would gladly die if it means you'll live. This is how I can make up for everything I've messed up. No! Don't, please don't show that. No. Go save them, Sally Face. I hope we meet again. Oh my god! Oh my god! Ash, no. What if he was wrong? Well, she was wrong. Oh! Oh, bloody hell! Oh! Why? How many loved ones will you kill to save the world? You know what? No! I'm going to continue this in part three because what the bloody hell was that? Well, fuck it. There's no one else left to bloody die, is there? They're all dead. <laughs> oh my god. I'm really enjoying the, the, the puzzle side of this, and the story's really, really interesting to watch unfold, but why does it have to be so bloody bleak? Alright, well, I'm sorry to end it here, but as I said, I don't want this video to be too long, so we'll pick this up in part three of chapter five. <sighs> yeah. Thanks everyone for watching. Until then, awesome possum. Bye Fluffies!